My name is Robert Budd, and everyone calls me Lucky, so I'm known as Lucky Budd. Uh, I am self-employed. Uh, I am a professional historian. I graduated from UVic twice. Uh, the first time was with a BA in General Studies, General Humanities in 2000, and then I did a master's degree in history uh, in 2003. I started and I graduated in 2005. I had had a job working at the Provincial Archives of British Columbia doing a contract for the CBC as an audio preservationist. A guy who worked for the CBC recorded 998 people who were first generation British Columbians or First Nations people and he put together this crazy huge collection that was 2700 hours long and it was my job to archive and listen to the whole thing. And I decided that I needed to get this material out to the public. So I came to the history department here in order to get my degree, in order to legitimize uh, my ability to be able to then bring this material to the public in the form of a book. So I got my degree in 2005 and I was able to get this book published just last year. It's called Voices of British Columbia and it is the fruits of that labor. So I used my degree directly in order to be able to get this to happen. Uh, the other part of my job is that I get hired by families to interview and record family members and put together books of memoirs. So I'm an oral historian and uh, what I do is I interview people and then I put together their life stories into books of memoirs such as this. I use various competencies in my job, uh, get various bits of information in order to contextualize their life histories and their life stories and that was exactly what my degrees taught me how to do was find various bits of knowledge and culminate it all. You have to use incredible communication skills in my job uh, in order to be able to communicate with my uh, interviewees and make them comfortable and obviously I have a great commitment to quality because to me the end result has to be something that people are proud to show their children or grandchildren or even potentially get published eventually. The advice that I would give to people who are studying anything in the humanities is just take what you like because what a degree in the humanities does is it teaches you how to organize yourself and it teaches you how to teach yourself. Intrinsically you might feel like you're not going to use your degree in philosophy but extrinsically the fact that you're teaching yourself the skills by doing the assignments, it's invaluable in the workforce.